Hello, YouTubers. It's Chris. And what I have here is a 80s or 90s, well, probably 80s vintage steel 009 series chainsaw I picked up at the dump. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's filthy. But nice little chainsaw. I guess they were arborists saws back in the day. Uh, a couple of notorious uh, hang-ups with them, I guess, are, are, are the oiler. I think they're, they're fussy, they're prone to break down, and parts are hard to find now. But we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of go through it. First thing we'll have to, have to do is, uh, I'm just going to clean it, man. This thing's nasty. Looks like it was just, who knows, barn find or whatever. Uh, here's, the, here's, the, here's the choke. On, off switch. Down here. Let's see, it has compression. Plenty of compression. The chain is really kind of gummy and stiff. We'll, uh, we'll open this up, clean it out. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just make sure it has a spark before. Nicely, it actually just came with two of these little utility tools here. No. Looks pretty clean. So we'll just uh, rig something up here. A couple of clips. Um, I call them, you know, Jesus clips because you, you test some piece of electrical equipment and you go, oh, Jesus, that was the problem. I'll show you that in a second. Ta da! Jesus clips. So, what we'll just do is uh, with the spark plug out here, we will attach one end. to this here and one end to uh, somewhere on the block not really all right and make sure it's turned on let's uh, zoom in here so you can kind of see what's going on and hopefully we'll get a spark So that's good sign number one. Put that back together. We'll move on. Look at the uh, carburetor and the air filter. All right, let's take a look at the air filter here. Anyways, this looks uh, comparatively straightforward. One size tool fits all here. Now these these had kind of like a reusable filter screen. All right, so there it is. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Well, there's possibly reason number one why, why this thing might have been inadvertently junked. I mean, look at... It's like totally caked with sawdust in here. That's disgusting. And look at the carb. I mean, it's just totally... Uh, I don't want that falling in there. All right, so we're going to have to take this, get an air supply, blow this all out before. I wanna, I'm going to make sure I cover this up so nothing falls into it. But, uh, yeah, we're not doing anything. We're not even going to try starting it yet until I clean that out. Oh, 
man. Ugh. While we're at it, we might as well clean this out too. Man, this thing's disgusting. How do people let their equipment get get so bad? Jeez. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to go take this out, hook up the air compressor, and blow some of this stuff out of here to get it into some semblance of cleanliness. My goodness. Okay. So that's much better. Clean this out, a little soapy water. Blew the air gun through it. This is all cleaned out now. Oil port is exposed. This is the oil uh, pump for the uh, for the chain. I'm not going to pull that out and tamper with it until we test it and make sure it works. <laughs> this is all cleaned out now as well. Looking good. Brake lock. So, also took the chain, just soaked it in some gas. Yeah, we'll just see. It, it, it was very stiff, but it's all kind of cleaned out now. And we'll put this on and stitch it back up. Then we'll uh, take a look at the uh, fuel filter, try to start it up. Further, just tighten this on here. In the meantime, uh, let's put the uh, air filter back on. Take this tape off. Nice and clean down in there. Let's see how this go. Done. I used to, I like to use these little, uh, this little hook tool I have here to fish the fuel filters out of here. Take a look at it. There we go. All right. This is good quality black line, not that cheap yellow or blue stuff you see. This filter looks in very good shape. It's an original steel. You know what? I think for the sake of testing this, I'm going to leave this on here. I've seen some that are so gummed up, obviously, that they obviously need to be replaced. But we'll just tap that guy back in there. There's some nasty fuel in there, but we'll... Uh, We'll dump that out and replace with clean stuff. So here it is. It's all cleaned up. Uh, chain is tightened. It's been, I adjusted the rakers all down to 0 0.025. And uh, I think compared to what we originally started with, it's not a bad looking machine. So why don't we take it outside, try and start it. Before we get started though, I just wanted to put this next to the old 290 Farm Boss. I also have a video of this and um, you can see a substantially beefier machine, longer bar, thicker bar, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. So let's fire this guy up. So what they say to do, lock the chain, lock this, close the choke, make sure it's on, start it, or pull it four or five times until, well, then just open the, uh, the choke up and then start it and then blip it down so it just idles and then release the chain off. So let's give that a shot. I'm just going to hold up my leg.
awesome. It works. The chain's oiled up. It's leaving a little streak. You can see right here. And it looks like it's got a good coat of oil, so the uh, pump's working. Let's go try it out. it. 1980s vintage steel model 009 chainsaw. Took down a little small snag tree, nothing particularly audacious, but just a demo that it works. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you again at Tenacious Seas Rescue League with some more dump picked treasures. Cheers all!